Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a click trigger for your Divi Overlay pop-up, uh, specifically with buttons. And so if you watch the Getting Started tutorial already, then you already know how to do this, but just in case you didn't, I'm gonna walk you through and show you how to create a click trigger on this button here. So this is using our Divi SEO child theme here at Divi Life. And so we're gonna simply just add a click trigger so that when the user clicks on Get Started, it's going to pop up our Divi overlay. And so uh, setting click triggers is very, very simple. Uh, all you do is you copy the CSS ID into the modules CSS ID field in the advanced tab. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So uh, at this point, you should already have a overlay pop-up created uh, inside of Divi overlays. And so from this screen here, you'll see the CSS ID. Also, if you open up to edit the overlay from the edit screen, uh, it's also gonna show up right here as well. And so you just wanna make sure that you have that copied to your clipboard. And then we're going to go ahead and go to open up the visual builder. So enable the visual builder on the page that you'd like to add the click trigger to. And then you're going to open up the module. So as I mentioned, we're going to add it to this first button here. So go ahead and open up that button. Click over to the advanced tab. Open up the CSS ID in classes. And you're going to paste it into the CSS ID field here. Not to be confused with the CSS class field. If you paste it there, it will not work. It has to be here in the CSS ID field. Now, one thing more before we close that and, and save the page is for buttons, uh, if you just leave this blank, then by default, when you click on the button, it will just reload the page. That's just the way the button module works within Divi. And so we have to add something here. And so we're gonna add open. So we're gonna do hashtag open, and basically that's telling Divi that this is a link, but it's not a link to another page or an external site or anything like that. It's a link within the same page. And, and basically when you add a hashtag or a number sign, it signifies that it's a anchor link, uh, but rather than us uh, having it go to another part of the page or an anchor, what it's going to do is it's going to open our overlay. And so you can put hashtag open, you can put hashtag uh, overlay, you can put hashtag uh, pop up. It doesn't really matter. Uh, get started. It can be uh, literally anything. You just need to have the, op the uh, number sign and then some sort of text. Uh, if you do the number sign by itself, it will still work, but it will scroll the user back to the top of the page. So if you have uh, a module or button lower down on the page and then you just have hashtag, well, it'll open the overlay, but it'll shoot the user back to the top. And so this will make sure that the user stays right where they're at. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Save Changes. Now I'm gonna save the page in the Visual Builder. I'm gonna go ahead and exit the Visual Builder. And we'll show you how this works on the front end of the page. So I'm just gonna click Get Started, and boom, you see the Divi overlay automatically pop up. And so it'll continuously do that. We can close it. We can click outside of the area to close it, and it'll continue popping up again as, as long as a user clicks on the button. So uh, a couple things I want to make note of first before we end this tutorial is when you add a click trigger, you don't actually have to uh, define your display locations. So automatically Divi overlays will find the click trigger that, that you have set on the page and it will automatically add the overlay content to the background of the page so that as soon as you click the button, it loads the pop-up for you. And so, uh, for example, if you have display locations and you have it set to a different page, uh, you don't need to worry about it because as long as there's a click trigger, Divi overlays will handle the rest. So that is the end of this tutorial, but uh, stay tuned. We're gonna uh, below this on the same page, uh, more than likely we're gonna have some additional tutorials on how to uh, set click triggers on other modules such as blurb modules, uh, links, images, that sort of thing.